Okay, this is until I draw. The uh, clinical findings are all listed in the, uh, in the columns on the left and right side here for each eye. And one of the features that I do like about this is the ability to double click on this to select uh, all of the drawings within that finding. Um, in this case, the uh, normal caliber vessels. Usually what I use this for is to, uh, to scale the vessels. For instance, if I wanted to make these smaller so that I'd have more room in the periphery to, uh, to draw more detail out here, like the lattice degeneration, I would use it for that. So one of the frustrating points has been the, uh, the use of these handles here. Um, uh, in general, I expect that when the, when the cursor changes uh, to that I would be over the handle and able to grab it and scale the object. However, in, uh, in Teledraw, at least for the last several years since I've been using it, uh, that's not the case. It, when, uh, when you come from the, <clears throat> from the outside of the, uh, of the selection, uh, as soon as it changes there, you would think you're over the, uh, over the grab handle, but when you click, you're actually not. So it deselects it, and you have to come back over and select it again, and you know, again, I'm not on it enough there. So basically it works from about the middle down on into the inner part. So if you come from the inside actually as soon as it changes you're over the uh, the handle and you can then scale the uh, the drawing there. Um, and so if you're inside here again or inside this one I can scale it but the outer part of it when it changes usually that's not where you can grab the handle from. So that's Not what we would expect, you know. So that makes it frustrating if you're in the, uh, you know, in a busy clinic trying to finish the uh, the charting. You know, sometimes you're still explaining to the patient what's uh, what the plan is for their uh, their treatment, and you know this does this happens to you, you know, a couple of times. Um, it can be kind of frustrating to have to keep going back to fix that. So I think that's that's something that would be nice to have that uh, have that working properly, so that when the cursor changes, you know, you know that you're on the handle and can can grasp it. So I don't know if it if you can. So it changes down here. You can scale. I'm not sure if it's even before it changes. Yeah, it's still on move. Yeah. So at least at least on the inner part, it seems to work correctly. As soon as it changes there, but you're on the outside edges of the of these handles. They don't they don't really work at all. Um, a, another thing that's uh, that I think could be better in uh, in IntelliDraw is the uh, the mirroring of these of the drawings. So this is a, a great thing here. The so we have the lattice generation in the supranasal quadrant. Um, let me shrink back out. We have the, the corresponding lattice generation supranasal and at four o'clock in the uh, in the fellow eye here, the left eye. Um, and so what we see is um, you can, uh, once you've made the uh, drawing of the lattice generation in the uh, one eye, you can right click and save it to the library. And then a great feature is that you can then mirror it to the other side. So the lattice generation in this case in the supranasal quadrant gets mirrored. The drawing itself is mirrored and its location is mirrored. So it's still in the supranasal quadrant over here. And so that works very well for any of these uh, location uh, modifiers that respect the uh, midline of the eye. So you know, nasal, supranasal, infranasal, supratemporal, infratemporal, and temporal all work very well with that. Um, the problem becomes when you use the clock hours to uh, designate the um, uh, the location. So here's the lattice generation at four o'clock. Uh, save it to the library and then uh, mirror to the other side. It mirrors again the not only the drawing itself but also its location. So uh, the problem is that four o'clock in the right eye is going to be over here at four o'clock in the left eye. You know, one, two, three, four o'clock. It should be over here. 
So in this case, it would be nice if IntelliDraw recognized that the clock hours should not be mirrored, even though it says mirrored, but rather uh, it should be copied over directly. Now, I wouldn't make a whole nother menu item for copy over. I would just you know, internally in the, within the program itself let it recognize that the, um, uh, the clock hours shouldn't be mirrored but actually copied over to the uh, corresponding location in the other uh, in the other drawing uh, over here and I also probably wouldn't mirror the drawing the uh, uh, the, uh, the drawing itself uh, just have it copied identical to this as if it were like right here um, and so it would be good uh, that would be a more intuitive way of uh, of doing that. So right now, the you know, mirroring of the drawings from uh, any of the clock hours does not work except for six and twelve. Six and twelve, you can mirror it over, and and that still functions. But uh, all of the other clock hours, the other ten clock hours, don't work. And. Then, See, the other thing that I think I would change in IntelliDraw, if it's still under development, um, would be the way the system uses transparency. So, you know, right now to do a transparency, I have to click the color that I want um, and click on transparency and change the scale. So, let's say I wanted to color in the red background here for a retinal detachment. So all of this is attached retina. I have to color all this in. And then let's say the lower, the inferior part of this is all detached and would be their uh, by convention transparent blue. Uh, I'd have to come down, click on blue, turns off my transparencies, I have to click it again. Also changed my uh, brush size to, large, to small again so that I have to check to uh, come up and increase it. Uh, to color it in there. Uh, you know, another frustrating thing about that is, um, you know, let's say we were on something else. If I click on, if I change the scale, I do this in the uh, in a different order, like let's say I change scale and then I hit transparency, I realize I have the wrong color and decide, oh, I need light blue. It resets everything, so now I've got to it, I've got to go change my brush size and transparency again uh, to be able to work with light blue. Uh, so, two things: one, I think it would be a nice that if the brush size just stayed fixed once I changed the brush size, uh, it would stay with the uh, the the brush size that I I chose, uh, despite whatever color I pick, it would just stay with that. The other thing would, that would be good, I think would be to instead of having this transparency checkbox that gets reset all the time to actually have another row of colors uh, below this one um, that has the uh, that has the transparent uh, version of each of these so transparent black dark blue brown would all be in a row down here underneath there so that requires if I want transparency I just click once on the color in the transparent version that I want instead of clicking here and clicking transparency having to make you know that extra mouse move to the small target and having to click on it again um, I think it would just be more efficient uh, to have that uh, that ribbon of, uh, of transparent colors uh, in the palette down here uh, then this uh, this process of uh, to shrink that. Uh, this process of uh, of coloring the upper part red here would have been just you know increase the brush size, click on red, and then be able to color that in. Click on transparent blue, and then color in transparent blue down here. Um, it's much fewer clicks, more efficiency in, in the movement of the mouse. Uh, to get that to get that task done and uh, be able to move on to, to the next thing that I need to do um, in completing the chart and those are you know, some of the uh, uh, improvements that I think can be made with uh, the IntelliDraw uh, that I've found in using it over the years 
uh, hopefully still some development work is still being done on this um, and uh, and those uh, changes those improvements could be made uh, I know there's also the um, the uh, draw feature within IntelliChart that I think is the future but um, that does not seem to be uh, experiencing significant development in the past year or so since I've been uh, watching and I still can't use that uh, due to some limitations that I outlined in another video.